Hey, till I can't stand. I don't think they'll ever understand. I can't let this go unannounced. All that talking, I just don't hear. All these dreams finally appear. All these answers I know I had. Your imagination is in my bag. They get it twisted just like a zag. I'm too high, I just left earth. Caught my wave, don't gotta surf. Save that bullshit for the birds. I had to put in work. I had to grow on my own. Platinum and gold. I was just learning the ropes. They was judging me though. I was just filling a void. I had to block the noise. Spike on the block of the boys. So oh, this block in a toy. Wish we had pot. I make him P and B rock. I make him feel like a boss. How they overlook this? Think you're teaching the class? Should be studying this. I make him fumble the bag. I bring hit after hit. Get you are running with this. Riddles from under a bridge. They can't get over this shit. I'm never closing the shift. Shoot, I'm focusing it. How do you do it again? I always knew that I win, yeah. you could get lost in the crib, yeah. I always knew who I was, yeah. two 100 for ones, yeah. two stunning the love, you ain't come up with us, keep my head in the clouds, yeah. keep my feet on the ground, I had to grow on my own, yeah, me, myself, and I, I had to grow on my own, So made the platinum and gold. I was just learning the ropes. They was judging me though. I was just filling a void. I had to block up the noise. Spike on the block of the boys. So oh, this block in a toy. Wish we had pot. I make him P and B rock. I make him feel like a boss. Boss. I always had myself. Had myself. Had myself. When I had no one else. No one else. No one else. I always had myself. Had always had. When I had no one else. No one. I always had myself, had myself, when I had no one else, no one else, no one else. I always had myself, always had, always when I had no one else. So check, check, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hello, hello, check, check. All right, so uh, welcome. Whoever is still watching, uh, fire intro we had from Frankie Deluxe. That's uh, no one else. Yeah, no number one else. Uh, look it up on YouTube under Frankie Deluxe's YouTube channel, uh, and watch the video. I mean, we went out in the middle of Alaska. We were out there on a sandbar. Like what? So go check out No One Else uh, by Frankie Deluxe. And, you know, he's still cooking it up. Uh, go check out his music. Buy the music if you like it. If you support it, you know, buy it. It's the least you could do. Um, you know, uh, personally, Frankie's like fire. Like, <laughs> Frankie fire. So, um... Actually, I don't think I've told y'all yet. I don't think I've told y'all yet um, that I'm starting to make a little bit of beats. I'll show y'all my last co two my last two beats, but I'll show y'all also um, my beats from when I just started. Actually, I'll show you I'll show you my my ones I just started ones because they're like kind of trash. Honestly, they're like not that good. I'll show you. But they're okay. Like, very simple though. Just down, 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 down. Like just two tone. This is called the bee's knees. My like second or third beat I made. It's kind of hard. And this one, this one's kind of dope. This one's called Ghost. Bam. Bam. So that one's called Ghost. And then I got this one called Groove. And 
and then I'll show y'all I'll show y'all my second to last one. It's called Soul. Oh, I gotta play that again. Gotta play it again. And then I got this one. It was my last beat I made. I'm working. I'm actually working on. Um, I'm working on this one beat. It's turning out pretty gas. I just got to finish it and then start working on another beat. But here's my my last beat I made. It's called mobbing. Uh, you already know what it is. Uh, fifty, a uh, hundred dollars a beat. You know, for get a beat for a hundred bucks. You know, hundred bucks a beat. I'm selling my, um, I'm selling my my time on the keys. You know what I mean? Whoever wants a beat, that's you know from me. I'll give you the rights. You know, I'll give you everything. 100 bucks, just hit my line, um, yeah, and I would like to thank all my subscribers for constantly just being there, subscribed, like, y'all don't go nowhere, and y'all hold it down, you know what I mean, I'm at 130, 132, 132, um, you know what I mean, uh, I'm trying to rise it up, so, I mean, if y'all want to share my stuff, uh, go ahead, uh, share the videos, um, if you want, uh, I don't really care if you don't, <laughs> you know, but it'd be dope if you did, you know, um, I'm just here talking about my life and what, uh, I'm currently up to uh, throughout the weeks, the days, it's been a while, honestly, since I last been back and talking to y'all. Um, it has been a, a little while. <laughs> I forgot my water again, this video, so that's going to be a tough one. I already need it. Um, but we'll power through, you know, power through like, uh, like a dozer. So, oh, I need that. Um, let's see. I got a couple things on my list, you know, I'll get down to, we'll get down to the nitty gritty of it all. You know what I mean? Um, we got the Boston Celtics as 2024 NBA champions. And I mean, that's just what it is. You know, uh, Tatum, Brown, White. Uh, and the rest of the bunch just got the job done. It's plain and simple. Got it done. Boston is just a place birthing national champions, national championships. And um, it's good for the city of Boston. I mean, that's just an amazing thing that they got going on. Boston celebrating it up as they should. And unlike... The uh, Florida Panthers and the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, Florida Panthers kind of, I feel like, just didn't go for the kill. You know, they wounded the Oilers. They were on one leg, crawling back to their fortress. And they got back to the medic. And Mick Savior comes out in game four, five, and six and just lights up Bobrovsky. I mean, Bobrovsky doesn't know what the glove or blocker is anymore. He doesn't know whether to stay in the crease or go out of the crease. Bobrovsky doesn't know if he's a player or a goalie, you know? I mean, he's getting out of the way of the shots. He's not playing with his head. Oh, yeah, he's, he's 
too much in his head. Uh, he's not playing uh, with a clear head. And he was literally out on the ice with the Zamboni, like out there skating among the Zamboni, like looking sad. Like he honestly looks sad when he was doing that. Uh, personally, I don't know what's happening with Bobrovsky, but he's probably going to freaking choke on game seven. You know, Skinner is just holding it down. What's he got to lose? He's like almost out of the league. He was, uh, you know, uh, Edmonton uh, fan ever since he was, like, really young. So, uh, actually, I don't know the age of Skinner. I feel like I'm talking like he's, like, a 40, 50-year-old. I honestly don't know. Skinner, I'm sorry. But you're doing unreal. I mean, just keep on doing it. Uh, Bobrovsky, I already talked about it. Um, So... It's all up to game seven on Monday night. I'll be watching it, you know, you know what I mean? Um, other than that, yeah, Boston Celtics just absolutely tore up Luka and Ky- there was the F Kyrie chance going around Boston as they should. Kyrie stomped on their logo and they won a championship against him. I mean, Kyrie is just a sore loser. Uh, hopefully he didn't like you know, do that this time and stomp on their logo. I don't know why he would. I think he gave them dap, like dapped them all up, you know, at the start or the end when they lost. I've seen a little clip. You know what I mean? I've seen a little clip. Uh, What else we got? I got a new iPad. Uh, I use it as my little computer now. It is my nice handy dandy iPad. And, you know, I look up like news for y'all. Because that's just what I got right here is like a computer. You know, I can look up anything. But we'll get to that. Work has been work. I've been trucking. You know, we're trucking. We're rocking. Um, stocks. I can talk about that. Oh, oh, oh. I feel like we're about to like. I've been saying this for a long time. I've been saying this probably for two years. But we're almost there with the Fed dropping the interest rates for the American people, picking the bids back up on these small cap companies, letting the stocks run a bit. I mean, the only stocks that are going up, and I've said this before in the last couple podcasts, like the only stocks that are really truly going up are the Magnificent Seven, Tesla, Apple, Amazon, Meta, Google, Netflix, and all those like big stock, big large cap companies are really roaring, but we are seeing some more bidding action on the small caps. I mean, we are actually seeing it, but no sector momentum. Sector momentum is so weird with the AI plays, with the weed plays, you get one day or like a couple days of straight up and then no bounces on the way downs. Nothing, I mean, no long lasting momentum. Really, unless you're playing long, that Magnificent Seven. And that's where we're at. That's where we are at. But I'm honestly still grinding, like, in there. Um, you know, up about a 1,000 on the year. That's where I'm at. And um, I hope to end it with a 100. You know, a 100 hundreds. But we'll see. Uh, I just need, like, a couple really good uh, plays to get me... There's been plays every single day, but I need to get, like, a couple of good wins with, like, a $5,000 position or a $10,000 position. But that is a way out, and I just got to not ruin my profits with that mental mistake of me just doing that um, out of the blue on some bad trade. And um, I just can't do that. I just got to stay with my small size. I got to be up early waiting for these plays to work out 
you know, waiting for the uptrend and buy on the dip when it gets close to the bottom of the trend and shoot for 5, 10, 15 percent and locking in single after 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 single you know, I mean, I could go on and 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 on. But I don't really want to keep on saying that. Like, that is really all I do. Like, I mean, I could sit here and preach it, um, you know, and I do. I do. I mean, the market is one of the most beautiful places ever created for mankind, humankind. Um, most freest place, if there wasn't the SEC. The SEC honestly came in with some BS news, or not news, yeah, pretty much news. News that they would put new rules into the uh, system of the penny stocks, and I honestly don't remember what those, I don't know what those rules were. I think they started an investigation into a group, but they didn't really get busted, they were just like locked up. They were saying, let me out. But other than that, uh, they didn't get busted. And I think just new rules that were like something to do with offshore companies, you know, this, that. And I think really the market got more equilibrium. It met, it, and honestly, uh, now the trades get settled the day of electronically. They used to settle like three days and then it was two days and then now it's a day. So we're really in a time where the market's as fast as it's ever been. It's probably going to be this fast for the next 20 years and then AI might make it faster. But I would say we did cross a period in this selling spot and this this bull market and this 2022 selling where the market really has come to terms with uh, one day settlements and really just being honestly people complain about manipulation manipulation no it's not manipulation you short sellers, you short minded, narrow thinkers, you guys are, are so wrong about manipulation. It's the market. Complain about it all you want, have your theories, have your beliefs, but at the end of the day, it's the market makers putting in the orders, dude. So if you get mad at anyone, get mad at the people you're losing money to. Like you take money from someone and if you if you win and if you lose, you lose money to someone. It's that plain and simple. Short sellers, I'm sorry that you can lose more than 100%. You just might have your math wrong. <sighs> so anyways, um, the gym has been great. You know, the gym has been fantastic. I've been doing my stair steppers. I went out to the gym with Frankie. He showed me his 30-minute workout. All y'all tap in with Frankie if you're in Fairbanks. Get that 30-minute work. No, he probably doesn't want that. He probably doesn't want everyone hitting him up. But, I mean, honestly, there was a lot of free open open uh, spots, you know. Frankie could show you uh, his workout. Uh, he's like a trainer, you know. Hit up Frankie for some good training. Um, we just did the... I can't expose the the secret workout, uh, but yeah, you know what I mean. Um, it's the Frankie workout. So yeah, I mean the weather is fantastic. It's been eighty degrees or high seventies, and at nights nice a nice cool little sixty degrees. You know, a uh, little cool off and. Fairbanks is one of the most beautiful places you can ever experience in the summertime. It's like perfect weather. Um, I'm going to get a house here and then I'll probably get a house in like Utah, uh, Salt Lake City or like uh, anything more south of that 
is like so hot. Like Phoenix is 110 right now. <laughs> like I don't, I mean, it'd be nice. I'd get used to it, but I just don't know. But I would be going there mainly in the winter time. I got to think about that. I got to think about that. I'd be there in the winter time. So, I mean, that's like a nice 70 probably, you know, 80 degrees in the winter, which is just like here, Fairbanks, in the summer. So, uh, that'd be about perfect. So, that might just be the plan, you know, a little Phoenix, uh, Arizona, out in the desert, a little action out there, you know. Um, uh, yeah, it's going to happen. I'm going to become a millionaire from the stocks. Uh, and y'all are going to watch it unfold and we talk about it, uh, in this podcast, the perspective show, uh, hopefully it'll be coming up soon. <laughs> you know, I hope for the best, but, uh, I prepare for the worst and I am jumping on every opportunity I see in the market because I do got some money to play with. You know, I'm not afraid to use it, but I am afraid to not go, not put as much as I did back in the bull market still because the plays really we ain't got no OTCs. I was putting like 10, 15 G's into OTC uh, dip buys and literally locking in a thousand, fifteen hundred, ten, fifteen percent. You know, I mean, it was just gravy, 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 gravy back then. And I didn't know the gravy train would end. And I was still trying to eat and eat and add more gravy on top of my mashed potatoes. But, uh, you know, it just stopped. Like it got derailed, you know. Biden came in and just derailed. Oh. <laughs> well, I will see y'all next week. It's the Frozen Ice Perspective Show. Tune in next week. Click like, uh, comment what you think, and check out www.frozenice.shop. Go shop, fill up the bag. You know what I mean. Uh, stay healthy. Uh, stay working out. Uh, reach your goals. Make a list. Reach your goals. Put it on a piece of paper. You see it every day. Work towards that, and you will become a better uh, human being. And um, I just hope everyone can get along and come together and uh, love each other because that's all we're here for is to enjoy time. <laughs> all right.